Some would call the key of Lavra the location where the entire uh, Orthodox Christianity movement for Eastern Europe began. It's a gorgeous church adorned with gold and images that sits in uh, one of the central areas of the city right along the river. This lavra is actually considered so holy that a number of monks will go into uh, these holy caves that are near it and a part of the complex to die and be mummified and to be uh, have their bodies left there. And um, it's very common for a lot of the visitors of the lavra to go into these caves to give their blessings, to see these corpses to go up and people will just run up and push each other out of the way just for a chance to kiss these mummified corpses. It's a beautiful sight to see people so devoted and so cathartic in relation to their religion that they'll go and kiss a corpse, it, you know, that it reaches this point where a corpse isn't a disgusting, strange thing anymore. It's a beautiful uh, body because of the blessings it has. Whether it's part of a religious ceremony or the design of a location or, you know, like lighting design for a performance, as you go through it, shows you the power that light can have. Light is how we see the world, and how do we change the way that we see the world through that light? And how do we give other people the chance, the ability to change the way that we see the world and allow them to change that world together? Now, no electric lighting is allowed in, this ca in these caves because they're so holy, so the only lighting is that every guest in the cave will uh, take a small wax candle and hold that in front of them as their only source of light as they're moving through the tunnels. And that brings a different eeriness, it brings a different feel to the entirety of the caves. It gives it a mystic feeling. I think something really special about the Lavra is that it takes what we might see as gross or disgusting or deceased, something that we put out of our minds like a dead body and allows it to become something beautiful because of what it means, because of the meaning of the place, because of the people who went and died there. And so it makes me wonder a lot about, you know, is the way that we see certain things like dead bodies, like death, the way that we see the world around us, is how much of that is just our own prejudices, our own way of viewing things, that if there's this place where a dead body can become something beautiful, um, how can we change that? How does that affect the way we approach, you know, a lot of different things around us?